Hi, my name is Dr. Ty Vincent. Uh, this is the first of a series of uh, short video clips with the intention of explaining to people a little bit better what low-dose immunotherapy is all about and some of its application. Uh, there have been a lot of questions out there nationally and internationally about this therapy in terms of how it's supposed to work, uh, how we use it logistically, the process by which you get treated, the expectations, how you should report your results to us, how it works for things like Lyme disease, what a flare means, what dose titration is, all these different things. So uh, the goal of this series of videos is to have you hear it directly from me uh, because my experience over the last couple of years is that there's been a lot of misinformation propagated out there on the internet. So, <clears throat> I try to stay off the internet, but this has uh, left me no choice <laughs> but to try to put my voice and face out there and clear up some of the details. I'll try to keep each of these videos to five minutes or less, uh, just for the sake of the human attention span. Uh, this one, the rest of the topic uh, I want to discuss in the next four minutes that I have, is the whole history of LDA, LDI, where this came from briefly, because this isn't all that important, um, this whole concept and style of desensitization was originated by Dr. Leonard McEwen in London, England, back in the late 1950s, early 60s, sometime in there. Then he discovered that you could desensitize people, which isn't really the best word in my opinion, to a lot of different antigens all at once. Uh, by using mixtures of things that were highly diluted, uh, diluted to a very, very weak concentration, uh, and giving them all at once. And so it, it simplified things as compared to conventional immunotherapy, where you test people and you treat them with specific antigens one at a time or in short combina small combinations. This made it much simpler. And the way the, disease, where the way the treatment is thought to work is by promoting tolerance to a number of antigens at once, which means you can treat people for things they don't need because you're just promoting tolerance to those things. His initial development involved complex mixtures of environmental antigens, which include molds, plants, animals, dust mites, which are animals technically, um, and uh, other, you know, other things in the environment that you would ex be exposed to through inhalation. So it's called the inhalant mixture. And then also a food mixture, which is about 160 different foods or so, all kinds of food components. And then also a chemical mixture. Along the same lines, he discovered that certain autoimmune diseases had a bacterial trigger for them. One of the early ones that was discovered was rheumatoid arthritis. And so there's a mixture called PK, that has been around, we've used for decades, that's Proteus and Klebsiella, and it's the Proteus bacterium that is the responsible trigger for rheumatoid arthritis. So his original therapy was called EPD, if you ever look that up. It's enzyme potentiated desensitization. And we'll talk about the mechanisms at the next video and why it was called that and what we think is happening. <clears throat> that was imported into the United States by Dr. William Schrader, Butch Schrader, a uh, colleague and friend of mine, uh, starting in the 1990s sometime, and they imported for nearly a decade, I believe, and then the FDA stopped allowing the importation from the UK. So he was forced to make a version of this therapy domestically in the US, which was produced by College Pharmacy from, I think, 1999 until this year, June of 2016. Uh, and we can talk about that crisis in another video. And <clears throat> that mixture or combination of mixtures he labeled as LDA, which is low-dose allergy therapy, which is a good descriptive term as well. Um, I started using that therapy myself, uh, I think around 2007, 2008. And through the use of that and understanding the mechanisms and observing how it worked for people, I realized that any kind of immune-mediated chronic disease problem could probably be treated with this method. As long as we knew what the triggers were and you could identify what the right dilution was to neutralize that chronic inflammatory effect. And so from that, I have now developed dozens of different antigenic strategies for all manner of autoimmune diseases and other chronic inflammatory conditions and other, some other unique allergy sort of, sort of conditions uh, that are not represented by the original handful of mixtures put out by the pharmacy. So in the next video, we'll talk about 
the mechanism of action of LDI, which I call low-dose immunotherapy, just to be a more general term for how this whole thing is working. And to separate it from LDA, the low-dose allergy therapy antigens, which are produced by the pharmacy, and only represent, that term only represents the food and chemical and environmental antigen mixtures. Whereas LDI, low-dose immunotherapy, is my more general term for using this dosage immunotherapy strategy uh, to desensitize or to stop a chronic inflammatory process of any trigger.